Hey guys, this is Cody with JNC Guns. Uh, today I have a new pistol. Just bought this handgun. Uh, it's an American Tactical 1911. Uh, now I've heard of American Tactical Industries before. Uh, you know, they, they make some gear. I've got a sling for them, from them. Um, got some other stuff, but I never really was too familiar with the guns. Uh, sorry, it's American Tactical Imports. But the guns that they make, but when I was at uh, the gun store last, um, I had had some credit from a trade-in that I did, and uh, I didn't know what else to get. And I've always wanted a 1911, so here enter the American Tactical Imports. Now, the reason I bought this handgun was not because I thought it was the best 1911 money could buy. Uh, it was because, for the cost, I thought that it was one of the better deals you could get. Uh, it was $439. Um, which, I mean, incredible deal, 1911, you know, and I, and I negotiated and got 20 bucks off. It's a brand new, uh, it's the GI, it's a, it's a, they call it the GI uh, FX45. So it's the full size one that they have, and I'm just going to open it. I've already opened it before, and, but I'm going to open it for you guys, show you what it comes like, uh, so you have an idea. So, watch the case here, uh, you know, the little symbol, it does have this symbol on the handgun. Um, so it is a black black 1911 so I'll do my best to show it to you so uh, it's just it, it comes in this cheap cardboard box don't let that uh, don't let that discourage you a little bit of foam padding I mean how much do you really need for shipping uh, you get your safety certificate your inspector your inspector number um, so there that is you get the gun model you know that stuff oops over there so that's neat and fine and dandy so uh, the first thing I noticed when I, when I got this handgun, and I don't mind this, some people it, it kind of seems to bother, is that it is covered in grease, in oil. So you can see it there on the slide, uh, all along here, underneath the slide, you know, it's, it's all over the place. So before I pointed this at anything terrible, we're going to make sure, make sure it's not loaded. So there you go empty chamber. Now the first thing I noticed when I looked in there, and I don't know if you can see this that well, uh, is how incredibly shiny and bright the chamber is. It's kind of... need better lighting maybe. Here maybe if I put my hand closer to it. You can still tell uh, a little bit. There we go. Incredibly smooth, uh, you know, feed ramp, which I I very much like. You know, a lot of people go out and get them polished and uh, you didn't really need... I didn't need to do that. So. The other thing I'll show you is clean finger, right? Just, just to give you an idea on how much it comes with. So it's very lubed up. It's, it's got a lot of that on there. Um, the first thing I did to this handgun as well uh, that I wanted to show you is I took a pair of Hogue hand grips that I had from a friend. My goal wasn't to make this an all black, sort of tactical looking 1911. It just so happened that he had an extra pair of hand grips and they were black. So, um, the biggest, the second biggest thing I noticed to this uh, 1911 is the amazing parkerized job. For being as inexpensive as it is, I mean, you, you can't, the camera doesn't really catch it uh, as well as I would like it to. Um, but I think, you know, it's the parkerization that's been done on this handgun is just, just amazing. Um, a unique thing that it does have, I've kind of come to find out now that a lot of the GI ones do, is it has a lanyard. Uh, which if you're, you know, you're out in the mountains, you're hiking up and down hills, You'd think you'd notice something like this drop, but you never know. And if you do, uh, and you have the lanyard on there, it's just one more nice thing to, uh, you know, one more nice, nice uh, feature to have, I think. So, so um, the second thing I noticed, other than the handgun in the case, obviously, and the lube on everything, is that the magazines that it sent, also being very lubed, and they're actually... Uh, Metgar, which see, I don't know if you can yeah, barely see it right there, Metgar, which I've come to find out I think are pretty incredible magazines. I haven't had any problems with them. Strong spring. I've read good reviews about on them. Um, you know they they seem to be pretty pretty well put together magazines. Uh, they're made in Italy and these are eight rounders, so they give you two eight round magazines that come with it. Uh, the second one I haven't even taken out of the plastic. As you can tell by looking at it, how much lube they really put on that. Which I, you know, again, I don't mind at all. I'm going to take this 1911 apart. You know, I've got a video for it as well. Uh, I'm going to take this apart, take the lube out a little bit. Some of it because it, it, I've noticed it's a little grainy. 
So I don't know if that's from test firing it or whatever the case, but I don't want a grainy lube inside of the handgun. And it's, I've read about it, it's not like a Glock where the Glocks, when you buy them brand new, they come with a silver lube that you're supposed to leave in the gun because it helps, uh, helps break the handgun in. And this is not the case with this, with this 1911, so. Um, the only other, the, the, the interesting thing I've noticed when comparing it to other 1911s is this one seems to have an especially large amount of writing and symbols. So you got one back here towards the rear of the slide. You know, you've of course got the branding on the side of the slide. Then you've got uh, Manufacturing Philippines Sam Inc. there. Then of course you've got the serial number Oops, here. And then you've got the ATI again up there and again back here on the rear of the slide. Now some people that might, oh, and, and you have uh, ATI in Rochester, New York. So you have four different uh, points of writing on here. Here, here, uh, here, and then the serial number. Some people don't care for that, and I, I, again, I personally, I don't mind. I wanted an entry-level 1911, and that is what I have. It's a very tight, it fits, you know, very firmly. Um, it doesn't have a lot of noise, it doesn't have any, I don't know if you can hear that. I, I know a lot of times, um, 1911s over time, the uh, rear grip safety here will start to jiggle around and you can hear the sear moving. Of course, that means you should replace it, but at the same time, you know, not everybody does that at the first chance. Some people just think it's, uh, it's a little smoother, so. So, uh, with that being said, uh, magazine's great. Uh, I like the extended, I don't have particularly large hands, um, but that curve just gives you one extra point of grip on here. Um, the magazine release is very strong. Um, it shoots the magazine right out pretty easily. Again, it's just a standard GI, so there's a couple upgrades I intend on doing. I don't really care too much for the ambidextrous safety. I think that gets in the way. However, I would like to change this, um, the manual safety here, and make this the long full length one so that the, this little bump protrudes all the way from front to back. Simply because while I do have smaller hands, uh, it just makes it a little easier on my thumb if I'm in a hurry. Not that I would notice it, uh, but I'm thinking more for gloves and things like that. It'll be a little, little nicer feature to have. And the only other feature I'm going, going to change uh, is that I'm gonna get a, uh, shoot, I forget the name of this part. Well, it's the, the rear safety here. I think that's what it is. Uh, I'm gonna get the, the, the beaver tail one, the fitted one, because when you hold the handgun, if you're not, it, it's not that you get bite from the slide. I don't think that would be a problem. Uh, it simply is that this hammer will come down and you have the chance to pinch your hand. If, you, if you're in a hurry and you grab it and you shoot fast or something, uh, you know, you could run into that problem potentially, so. Um, I am not, oh, yeah, the other thing to note, I don't know if, I don't think my gun company put this in there that I bought it from here locally. I think this was just put in there, but uh, it comes with your own copy of Youth Handgun Safety Act Notice. So that's, uh, it's interesting, but uh, there you have it. So um, no, no safety lock, nothing like that, but uh, again, you should always be storing your guns in a place where, you know, children won't be able to reach them or put them together or be able to fire it in any way. One step, you know, the one thing you can do is take the firing pins out, but then again, that's kind of not so useful for home defense. So, so there you have it. There's my initial review. I think it's a great deal for the price. I've compared it side by side to a Colt uh, Government Series 80 and 70 uh, that Andrew has. We got videos of those as well, takedown reviews, some of the finer points. We even have a comparison of a Series 70 and a Series 80 Colt. If you want to know some of the differences, if you're, oh, you know, what, which one do I need and why? Uh, and it covers a lot of the finer points of that stuff. So we'll be doing a range day with this gun. I'll be doing assembly, disassembly. I'm gonna get one of those uh, Colt 1911s and put it side by side, and we're really gonna look at the parts and put a little research into it to figure out if this is worth it or not. Now I've heard that this American Tactical uh, Imports also makes, is the same company that makes the Rock Island uh, handguns in the Philippines. So I haven't heard anything about, about that. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a poorly made handgun. There aren't any sharp points to anything really. Everything seems to be smoothed out. I have, uh, you know, and, and seems to seems to be a great gun. So, so there you have it. Subscribe if you like our videos. I try and be as thorough as possible. We all do in here. Um, you know, we're gun lovers. So give us any information you have. I would love to know if anyone has one of these. Make me a video response and show it to me because I and, and tell me what you think. Some of the points you've noticed. Some of the things you do or don't like some of the upgrades you, you've done and why, because I'm brand new to the 1911 world and I just wanna know, I wanna know all there is to know about it, so. Thanks guys, I appreciate it, take care and subscribe if you like us.